with five of us in here, you just have to be organized and not be lazy and get your dishes done. Usually the kids are sprawled out here doing schoolwork. This is built in Australia, kind of made for the rough outback roads. We didn't want to be turning couches and seating areas into sleeping spaces every night. Hey everyone, we are the Leopard family. This is our tiny home, come and check it out. Hey everyone, welcome to the inside of our caravan. This is our kitchen where lots of cooking magic happens. We quite like the fact that our kitchen is kind of separated from our seating area over here so that when someone's cooking, people can still get in and out of our lounge area. This oven uh, fully runs off LPG or propane. So we've got four gas hobs and uh, we've got a little grill here which gets well used by the kids making toast in the morning and then we've got like a full oven so we can do roast vegetables and one that the kids really enjoy is lasagna so we like uh, making full use of our oven. There's plenty of space like the hobs are far enough apart that we can uh, have like four pots and pans all going at the same time. The bench space is quite limited so sometimes it's a lot easier to prepare things with the bench top down. Another little tip that we have heard about on the road is we keep things like our bread inside of our oven because the oven is insulated. If we put it up in the cupboards or up on the top of the fridge it can get quite warm in there in the summertime and it can make the bread not last as long. We have a good sized sink in here for doing dishes. Our kitchen space is a little bit restrictive so you do need to be a little bit organized with how you are doing food preparation because yeah with five of us in here you just have to be organized and not be lazy and get your dishes done. We've got full hot water as well so everything just comes out of the tap like normal. Good pressure so we can uh, fill up the sink and do our dishes. We've got plenty of uh, cupboard space up here. I don't know the state of these cupboards they might be quite unorganized. Yep they are. We've got all of our seasonings we've got like a bit of a spice container in here and lots of different flavors and seasonings and stocks for cooking. This is kind of like our coffee stash up here. This is the miscellaneous cupboard you know that kind of gets everything that has no home. This is our little storage cupboard that's got things like our internet. For internet we're using Wireless Nation which uses just cell phone coverage. It does work pretty well, we have pretty fast internet and there's probably only been a handful of places throughout New Zealand that we've been to that have not had coverage. Yeah we've got a big cupboard in here, this has got pretty much everything, our pots and pans, our jug for boiling water, cleaning products. It has a second drop-in shelf as well that's got uh, containers for leftover food storage. We've got three slide-out drawers and we've got just a drop-out cupboard at the bottom of this area. This is kind of our little snack cupboard up above the fridge here so crackers and chips. We've got a couple of slide-out pantries here, bit of a liquor cabinet. Uh, we've also got like things like cooking oil, same with our second pantry, got some spreads. And then our third cupboard down here is a storage cupboard where things like cereal lives. Favorite thing about this side of the kitchen would be the fact you can just open this window. In the summertime when it gets really hot you can get a good amount of breeze coming through. On this side of the caravan we've got uh, our fridge and we've got some pantry space. We really love our fridge, it's 190 litres which is quite big compared to our old caravan that only had a 60 litre fridge. We can get enough food for two weeks into this um, fridge and freezer. It runs off LPG most of the time or it runs off 240 volt power if we do plug into a powered site at a campground. It does use quite a bit of uh, propane or LPG if we are plugged into a powered site for a while. Our gas bottle lasts a lot longer. <laughs> it's also helpful when we're towing down the road. We don't don't have our gas turned on so the truck has been wired so that the truck's battery system will run the fridge while we're driving which is good. Our kids are very creative so there's a few things that are hanging up in the caravan and same in me and Soph's room. We've even got a snowflake here on our freezer. Well we're Mike and Soph. We've been uh, married 14 years now and we've got three delightful children. We've got an Australian built caravan, it is a 23 foot next gen caravan and so this is built in Australia kind of made for the rough outback roads and that's kind of what we wanted for travelling around New Zealand on, something that was going to be strong and robust for some of the rough terrain places that we like to go camping off grid. We did a holiday three years ago in a motorhome in the South Island and we loved it, we've always been campers. We looked after a big two week trip in the South Island, we're like we need to get something that we could have a really awesome experience in that's not going to be frustrating. But then when we started looking around the price tags on some of these caravans were pretty expensive and we figured if we're going to spend like a lot of money on a caravan we need to do an epic trip. 
So we kind of forged together a bit of a three year plan of um, how we were going to get on the road full time for a year and travel around New Zealand with our kids. We wanted to do it with them while they were at a fun age, you know, kind of before they got too cool and started not wanting to come camping with mum and dad. Something that we really enjoy about doing this life is the amount of time that we get to spend with our kids. It's been really cool to see their confidence grow in the outdoors and to share these adventures with them instead of kind of seeing them for a brief moment at the beginning and the end of the day. It's totally been worth it. So yeah, we're really just trying to maximise some memories with the kids while they're at a, at a really fun age. And we've done 13 months now, we're planning to go for another year, we've just really loved it. Cool, so this is our lounge area. Usually the kids are sprawled out here doing schoolwork. Um, we can, all five of us, just fit into the seating area. We like that our table completely spins around so we can move it how we want. It also drops down and it can be converted into a bed. So we do have storage under the couch, but we have an inverter so that we can create 240 volt power under this side. We've also got our hot water cylinder is under another area and our diesel heater so that we can stay warm. Sometimes we have a really nice uh, ocean view or a lake view at the moment. Yeah, it's good having the good windows and We just love how they open right up. Often I'll sit in the corner at night and uh, I'll do my video editing or something there in the corner, which is good. Uh, we've got plenty of storage up here. Again, lots more food. We have a games cupboard and we've got uh, a can cupboard. We make our own milk with the milk powder here because we'd go through a half gallon or a two litre bottle of milk in about two days. So we just prefer because we like to be off grid as much as we can. This is our electrics cupboard. So our solar system, we have a Bluetooth stereo system as well. We've got some speakers in the ceiling and outside. And we also have our water level controls here, which lets us know how much water we've got left. On a rainy day, this is a very coveted area. Otherwise, people are, are down the other end there, um, laying on the big beds, doing some art or some schoolwork, or uh, maybe a little bit of device time. This is the kids' end, uh, the bunks. We actually changed our caravan model like a week before uh, our build date so we were lucky we weren't going to have this layout but we thought that this was a much better layout when we saw it was an option so all three children all got their own bed space that was a non-negotiable for us is that everyone had to have their own bed we didn't want to be turning couches and seating areas into sleeping spaces every night the kids all love their own bed spaces they've got these nice big long windows here so they can open up and have a look at the view or just get some fresh air they've got cupboards into the back ends of their beds here all of their belongings pretty much are inside the cupboard that's at the end of their bed so it's good that they can fit all of their things in there, toys, clothes. The other end of their bed, they've got some charging points and they've also got a light in their room. So we've got these uh, quite big storage cupboards in here. We've got the kids schooling, so they all have a laptop, um, which they do their schoolwork. They've got a teacher online that um, they meet with like once or twice a week and assigns them their schoolwork. We've got uh, things like our jackets that don't quite fit in their own cupboards. Down the bottom is our laundry and uh, all of our shoes, but it's nice, big, deep cupboards. So they're really helpful when you've got five, five people living in, in a space this size. So this is our nice, small bathroom space, but it is perfect for us. It's got a vanity, nice, big uh, full mirror, which is really good for brushing your teeth or the girls when they're doing their hair or putting earrings in. Uh, we've got a Dometic toilet, uh, which is a cassette. We've got two of them, which is good. So we can um, put them into the back of the truck and then drive them to the closest dump station to get them all cleaned out and emptied. We've got um, a nice good flip, flip up cupboard here, which we keep our toothbrushes and extra things. So down in this cupboard here, we have got things like our spare towels and the little uh, makeup pouches that the girls have got. If it belongs in the bathroom, it's probably down there, except we don't have a hair dryer. We love our shower. It's like a full size house shower and it's got really good pressure. I just love it when you're camping in the middle of nowhere and you can uh, go have a nice long hot shower when you wake up in the morning. So it's, it's really is a nice big shower. Pretty much our whole caravan can run off grid. A hot water system runs off the propane or LPG. We have 200 litres of fresh water on board and we have a hot water cylinder that's 28 litres. That definitely keeps us going for probably four days. That would probably everyone have in a couple of showers. The kids are really good at uh, minimal showers. Sometimes we've been in a really beautiful location and we've not wanted to move so we've really had to manage our water consumption. But we've gone I think seven days before without having to refill our tanks. But was, we might have definitely all needed a, a, a good shower after that. Welcome to the smallest bedroom I've ever had. This is the, the adults room down here. So it's nice full size queen bed, which is good because I'm six foot three, so I'm quite tall. We've got two really nice big windows that again open all the way up. So we get some good air movement through the caravan if it's uh, a nice hot day. They are double glazed as well. So 
if it's uh, in winter we don't get condensation on our windows and we don't get um, cold air coming through which is super good. What we like about our room is we have double sliding bathroom doors as well which keeps the space quite separate from the main living area. Um, this bed lifts up and there is plenty, plenty of storage underneath. We have got our, our spare bedding under here and a few other bigger bigger items. And also our full 12 volt system is under here as well. So that's uh, basically the brains of the caravan. We've got an anti-theft system in this caravan, which means if somebody tried to steal our caravan, the brakes will lock on and an alarm will go off, which is kind of helpful. Um, we've got plenty of clothes storage in the caravan. Uh, so they just open up there, it's got our clothing in. We've got more cupboards down below. We've got a little hole here that kind of fits things like charging ports. The thing we love about the car this room is uh, the bed. We have great sleeps on here. A few times we've been offered to stay in people's houses when we've been, when we've been traveling around and we've all, all of us have opted to sleep in the caravan because yeah, the space is great. Part of our three year plan was to save up like a year's income. So we did some things like reduced our mortgage on our house to the minimum payments that we could so that we could save maximum. Picked up a little bit of extra work. We also sold our old caravan and we had a couple of extra cars that we sold which kind of gave us enough money to be able to support ourselves for a year on the road. But otherwise work, I'll leave that one to you Sai. You better get some words in there. Uh, I work three days a week, so I'm a registered social worker and so I do a bit of remote work. Yeah, that covers a lot of our weekly expenses, so the groceries and the fuels and the... Yeah, groceries and diesel. I'm a plasterer, so doing some plastering and painting work, so we did pick up a bit of that kind of work over the winter to try and tie us over before we knew that Soph was going to have a job. So. It's quite handy being able to just jump on some Facebook community groups and say, hey, I'm a plasterer. If anyone's got some work that they need done, hit me up. And um, I got quite a bit of work doing that over the winter time, which was nice. This is part of our outdoor space. This awning does go out a lot further, but for video purposes, we've, uh, we've brought it in a little bit. We've got a nice little table out here. You can imagine all of this being on the kitchen bench inside. We're kind of just moving into summer now. Things are starting to get put on the outside table rather than left on the inside one, which is nice. We've got some uh, big, strong LED lights on the outside of the caravan as well. So you can actually be out here in the middle of the night and it's very, very bright. We have to uh, remember other campers so we don't keep them up. This is a nice big long tunnel boot that goes right through to the other side where it has another door. This is full of like sports gear. We have like an outside table, a couple of games, the kids camping chairs, all that kind of stuff kind of lives on this side of the tunnel boot. And on the other side, we have got things like boogie boards, snorkeling gear, wetsuits, um, our washing line. We've also got a nice big toolbox here. So in this side, we have our spare toilet cassette, things like our gray water hose, our leveling blocks, that, uh, that all kind of lives on this side. This is a little added feature that we've, that we've done here, which has my fishing rods in it. I like doing a bit of fishing when we're at the beach, but it's a good way of keeping them safe so that the um, eye loops don't get snapped off. Cool, and what we love is our little outdoor shower, which is really good. Uh, if you've been at the beach, rather than the kids bringing in sand into the caravan, it's got pretty good pressure too. So you can uh, get a good get a good rinse off when you've been down at the beach, which is handy. So right, well thanks for checking out our, our rig and yeah, hopefully we'll see you on some of our social medias or something. So yeah, we have a YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, The Leopards Go Wild, that's our family name, Leopard. So we've been uh, yeah, making videos and there's about three years worth of adventures. Feel free to jump on and check out some of our, some of our New Zealand adventures. It's a beautiful spot to travel. Have a good one. All right, Brad has arrived to film us. Definitely a little bit of a different experience having someone else in control of the camera and us being filmed and being careful about what we say but it was a really cool experience and Brad was a real nice guy. I think he stayed way longer than he had intended to because we were just having a good old yarn about travel, about the US, about New Zealand and uh, he was just a good dude.